Today I'm going to be decluttering and reorganizing my dresser because it's gotten to a point where it just feels like a disaster. So as I'm going through the process, I'm going to show you everything, all of the folding that I'm doing and how I'm going to sort things in my dresser. But I also want to share with you some of my top decluttering tips as I go through everything and some ways that you can think about decluttering that will hopefully help you go through your clothing and declutter along with me. So with that, let's get going. I already did some decluttering of the top drawers there. I have my more intimate items like bras and underwear and stuff, so I didn't do that on camera, but I did go through each and every drawer if you're thinking that I might have missed something. But for this video, the first place that I'm starting with is my pajama drawer. And you'll see I took all of my pajamas out. I'm putting them on the floor. That is a step I really recommend you take. You may see me sometimes do decluttering where sometimes I take stuff out and other times I don't take things out. But when I'm doing a real deep declutter, I wanna pull absolutely everything out and be really intentional with what I put back in my drawers. So instead of thinking about what items you wanna pull away and declutter from your clothing collection or really anything or any area in your house that you're decluttering, Try thinking of the reverse and deciding which items you want to intentionally keep in your collection. As I'm going through, I'm making a few piles. The first pile is gonna be things that I absolutely know that I wanna keep. I know I wear them all the time. They're my favorite pajamas. Those for sure will go back in the drawer. Then as I'm going through, I sometimes will hit an item where I just know deep down, I don't wear it, I don't like the way it feels when I sleep, I'm not comfortable in it, whatever the case might be, it's gonna be something that I'm quite confident I'm going to declutter. And then there's going to be a collection of items that are in that unsure area. They might be clothing items that I sometimes wear. A lot of times I find myself in the maybe category having aspirational clothing. So whether it's clothing that Maybe it doesn't fit you right now and you're hoping to start a healthy diet or exercise plan and maybe fit into those clothing that haven't fit you for a while. Or in the pajama category, sometimes I have really cute pajamas and I wish I wore them, but I just don't necessarily find myself wearing all of the super cute pajamas because I opt for more comfortable things. So you need to figure out in each category that you're going through, what's really realistic and ask yourself those questions when you're going through the maybe pile. The other thing that's really helpful for me in particular is that we moved into this house about a year and a half ago. Granted, I was pregnant when we moved in and then newly postpartum for a good chunk of that time. But a way that I'm also thinking about going through my clothing is have I even worn this since we've moved into this house? Yes, that's a real question I can ask myself and the answer sometimes is no, I have not worn it. And just because I haven't worn it doesn't mean I'm going to automatically declutter it. I'm currently working from home, so that affects the clothing that I'm wearing. Again, being pregnant and postpartum kind of changes things a little bit, but it's just another factor that I'm asking myself and another way that I can think about my clothing. Maybe I'm not. I think about it way too much, and every single thought is making me. Making me. Give me something straight from your heart. You'll see how messy some of these drawers already were. This is my exercise clothing, all of my workout tops. I'm pulling all of those out, but I'm also pulling all of my sweatshirts out, doing a couple of drawers at a time because I think I'm gonna do some rearranging. That was another reason I wanted to do this decluttering today. I mentioned at the beginning how things just felt like they were a mess. I had been shoving some things in the drawer. It was getting overstuffed. Things weren't folded the way I wanted to. So in addition to decluttering, just doing a little dresser refresh and refold is always something really nice to do. Maybe I'm yours, maybe I'm not. I think about it way too much and every single thought is making me, making me. Give me something straight from your heart. All this 
I am keeping most of my athletic tops and sports bras. I feel like a lot of times I live in athletic clothing over the weekends and during the weekday, even when I'm on Zoom or on camera for my job, a lot of times I can wear a neutral colored workout top and put an open cardigan with it and make it look presentable from the top up. And then I'm able to go exercise and just take that sweater off really quickly and easily and not have to dirty multiple outfits. And I'm comfortable throughout the day. So that's kind of my work from home home uniform a lot of times is an athletic outfit with a little sweater on top to make it look nice and presentable on zoom i think she knows that she drives some crazy when she's looking like that the way she's moving makes them want it so bad it's the attention that we wish that we had yeah it's almost cruel because i want her to oh yeah i You'll see I'm refolding and organizing these tops by color. Within each color, I like to kind of also do it in a gradient. So I have all of my grays and black and white tops. I have a lot of them, but again, with pairing it with a sweater for work, it's nice to have a few neutral tops. I always debate whether I want to separate out my long sleeve workout tops and my short sleeve ones or put them all together. And I have flip flopped back and forth on this. So for now, I'm pulling them out, trying to see how everything fits after I've decluttered. And then I'll decide if, if they fit better with my tank tops and short sleeve tops or if it's better for me to pull them out and put them with other long sleeve shirts. You might see I'm also casting things aside as I go here. Those items are things that I am going to declutter or get rid of. A couple of things I'm pulling out for other reasons, like maybe they're stained and I wanna try washing them. But for the most part, when I throw something aside, it's because it is going to be decluttered. First, I tried putting those tops into two separate spots. Then I tried putting them together and you'll see in a moment what happened and how I decided to add the long sleeve tops, which made more shirts in each color so I could separate them out a bit more. So I have all of my colorful workout tops, all of my black and white workout tops, my sports bras, and then my little lightweight workout jackets and zip ups. next row down is workout 
bottoms. I have lots of leggings, especially a lot of black ones. So I think I'm going to go through here and do the same thing. The far left, I'm gonna do all of my colorful leggings. And then the next row, I'm gonna do all of my black leggings. I have some that are short, some that are full length, some have colorful bands on the top. They all fit me differently. Some have mesh panels or little detailing. And I also have a couple of pairs of sweatpants that I'm gonna try and fit in here. And I previously had all of my athletic shorts with my regular shorts in a different drawer, but I think I'm gonna try and fit them in this section as well because it makes more sense in my head to have all of my athletic bottoms in this drawer, regardless of length, just like I have with my athletic tops. That is bras, actual workout tops, and then those little jackets. So here are my shorts. I live in these in the summer. In the winter, I live in my leggings. In the summer, I live in shorts. I played around with how I wanted that to fit and there's actually still a lot of room left over in that second from the right column because I don't have that many pairs of sweatpants. Same with the shorts, they're not stuffed in there. There is room to grow, so that feels great. T-shirts are a category I've really been able to declutter quite well over the past couple of years. I've gotten rid of a lot of logo t-shirts. I don't wear them. I'm getting rid of some white t-shirts here because they feel like they're just gross and dingy and kind of stained to me. Even some of the shirts I love to wear, if they are yellowing, then I'm deciding to probably get rid of them. You'll see I'm doing a lot of thinking through things. There are things running through my brain of how often I wear them. Is this an aspirational thing? And double checking for what type of quality they're in. have some long sleeve tops here as well as sweatshirts. I do wear long sleeve tops all the time in both the winter and in the summer. I wear them with shorts a lot. For some reason, I'm just really comfortable in a long sleeve t-shirt. So I have a whole section of these, most of which I am probably going to keep just refolding them, trying to get out some of the wrinkles and make sure they are the same size.
in you like the tail of a dog I don't get no sleep when we kiss in the dark like we do I just love the way it feels Yeah, I know it's bad but You'll see I'm also going through my camis here, those I keep at the top drawer. I had a few black ones, a few white ones, one nude one, and one navy one, and then I also had a teal one that I never wear. I wear them under tops, so I decided to get rid of that one. I'm going to put them away in the top drawer, as well as a couple other comfortable bralettes. The first row down on the right side was a mix of stuff. I had previously my athletic shorts in there, my regular shorts, swimsuits, and all of my pants. I'm gonna put away my long sleeve shirts one drawer down from that and then get to going through my sweatshirts because I think I wanna put my sweatshirts and my long sleeve shirts together because again, that's what logically makes sense to me in my brain. You wanna do things that make sense to you where you're going to find them. I try and put like items together and put the most used items in the places that are easiest for me to access. You'll see I was able to get rid of a few sweatshirts there. I honestly probably still think I could maybe get rid of more. If you follow me on Instagram, I am going to be doing the sophisticated declutter again. That is a six month decluttering challenge where I go through my entire house, room by room, space by space, closet by closet, drawer by drawer, try and touch absolutely everything and do a mega declutter or just a check-in. So if you've done the declutter in the past, it's a great opportunity to go through all of your stuff again and continue to check in with what you own because I'm of the belief that you can never just sit back when it comes to your home and the items you own. It's always good, at least annually, if not more often, to do a deep dive and check in with all of your spaces. If you've done it with me in the past before, or if you do it with me this year and you do it right, then the following years, it's just gonna be a little bit of maintenance. It's not gonna be as much work for you to go through everything, but put the time in once and you're gonna see so much benefit in the way your home feels and the way you feel. When I look at you like that, you lose it completely. Losing track of space and time. I don't want to go home looking for a reason to stay here all night. I wonder, do you feel it too? Magic between me and you, the way that you make me feel. You wonder if Swimsuits there, I got rid of a couple. I got rid of even more pairs of shorts. Even though I think they're cute, I just never wear them. I'm always uncomfortable in shorts, tugging them down. I've told you guys this before when I've decluttered my dresser. Since then, I'm not sure if I've worn some of these and I feel the same way I felt about them before, so I am going to get rid of them. Going through my pants, I have a couple of pairs that I'm not 100% sure about that have tags on them. I'm sure you can see. I just got them and I'm able to still return them. So I wanna try them on, make sure they are comfortable and I really like the way that they fit me before I decide to keep them. This drawer is now going to be my pants, my shorts, short sleeve tops, and swimsuits. Then below that, I'll have my long sleeve shirts and my sweatshirts. I'm convinced these organza bags are the best way to organize swimsuits. I have a lot less now, but it still helps keep them really nice and contained. Having two-piece swimsuits, things float around everywhere. This way I can easily find what I'm looking for and have it look nice and neat in my drawer as well. You need, need, I'm everything you need.
Finally, I'm cleaning up the declutter pile here. So I have one sweatshirt that I wanna try and get a stain out of, another one that I'm folding up here and creating a pile of giveaway. You'll see I have some bra inserts that I've been holding onto for so long. But the fact that I just went through all of my bras, all of my swimsuits, all of my workout tops and didn't find any ones that had padding missing, I can finally get rid of those. I wanna make sure everything's in decent enough condition to donate if I'm choosing to donate. A couple of things I may end up actually just tossing and some things I wanna put in a separate pile to try and sell if they might be worth a little bit more money. I hope you loved today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you guys later.